Hey guys, so you probably thought I was going to talk about like DICE announcements today or something like this, something news related, something on topic and topical and, you know, relevant to this week. Wrong! <laughs> I'm talking about smoke today. Smoke grenades. My love of smoke grenades. You know, it was like literally the last couple of weeks I started using smoke grenades again and I was like, oh my god. I had forgotten how much I love you guys. Look at this right here, there's two guys up on here. How am I going to get past those guys so they don't get wiped out? Bam, smoke. Smoke's your friend. It smoke's the best. It's the most awesome passive grenade. I love it. The flares, meh, okay. But the smokes are excellent. And, uh, you know, something I've got to tell you is that I remember from playing Hardline when we went out there, and I understand that they still, you know, work in the same way. The smokes in Hardline as well are excellent and I remember on the day using them I remember throwing them out there and the dev guys were standing with us and I said to them damn these smoke grenades are awesome they kick ass and they're like thanks dude thanks they're really good anyway smoke grenades what are they good for they're good for covering areas of ground so that you can move forward they're good for creating distractions they're good for blocking enemy line of sight they're just great for so many different things and you should try using them if you haven't tried them just give it a go. They're, look at all these different situations I'm using for. Here we are making a bit of a push. I drop a smoke grenade. It enables me to go up through this bottleneck point and take out this guy here because he cannot see me. And even though I get my face smashed in in a second, it doesn't matter because at least I made the effort to try and push forward right here. In fact, actually, I think it's bloody nummy as well. Yes. Traded with... N Wait. Oh, yeah. Sort of. I killed Numi but got shot by LU1. Anyway, smoke grenade. Smoke, 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 smoke. Smoke is great because sometimes as well when you're trying to like cap an objective or something, you need to get that smoke on there if it's like an exposed piece of ground. That room in there is a great example, okay. The A uh, domination one right here, sometimes you need to get the smoke on it in order to cap it because it's an exposed area. So things like conquest and domination, smoke can be super useful when you're trying to cap those positions because you know, you're trying to move in, there's people watching from all different directions around. Now, hey, you can still die, you can still die, but the smoke makes the difference between them being able to just wipe you out in one go and not, and that is the, the, the sort of factor right there, you know. Uh, here we are just still sort of doing some work in and around this domination base. I'm actually going to post this full round as well, because this is the full round where I told you guys that we actually got our asses handed to us overall, but it was still like a super positive, really constructive round, uh, which is why I kind of left in a few little bits and pieces right here just to show the gameplay but look at all this smoke right here you know look, look, look there's so much smoke because a load of my other guys on the team also started using smoke because it was proving so effective for us we are having a very very difficult time pushing these bottlenecks and here we go more smoke but look at this we're just getting wiped out try as we might we're trying to push the line it goes to show you it's not going to work for you in all situations but it is a positive thing and it does enable you to move forward here we are this is a bit of footage you will remember i just dropped some smoke here to cover this this was from when i was talking about the med bag changes and uh, that smoke enabled me to move up onto this position which you know i couldn't have done they had that area locked down they were pinning us down there's no way i could have moved forward over there uh, had it not been for the smoke so it's great for kind of covering and allowing you you got to, it it kind of it closes down routes and opens up new ones for you it enables you to sort of push and move in those different areas which you otherwise could not uh, it's especially useful if you're solo if you're working solo you don't have teammates to lay down suppression or support but here look you drop down a real heavy smoke screen so again i can push through because they had us locked down you know if you're trying to stay on the move if you're trying to be like a fluid member of your team if you're wondering why i didn't stop to res that guy it's because there's a crap ton of enemies and i didn't want to get caught out in the open um, but again, look, here we are, another one to effect. Look, there's enemies over there, drop that smoke, push forward, push forward. So it's great, it's just denying them that line of sight. They're going to know that you're moving in that area, but it's just preventing them from sort of getting in onto you, and that's really, really what you want to do. So it just works good in so many situations, and I, I just personally find it just a really reliable tool. You know, here we are, I'm moving, this is the last one for today, I'm moving in to cap this objective. Again, we're heavily under fire, and it just gives me that cover that I need here we are, we're still taking fire, but it gives me that cover I need to push up onto exposed objectives. It's your good friend. It, it, it's such a versatile and underrated tool. In the words of Neil Buchanan, try it yourself.